What has been going on with this weather, guys? I woke up this morning expecting it to be nice and sunny. And then I wake up and there's clouds all over the place. There's overcast. Fantastic for fishing, but not if you're trolling. Especially not if it's windy, you know? But uh, I don't know how this day is going to turn out, but we're going to have to see what we're going to do or whether or not we're going to have to get off all the water. But you know what? We're going to keep trying. We're out here to fish, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. And you're coming with me. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Chasing stripers again late, late, late spring. I got to tell you, weather's been absolutely terrible. This is the first time that I've been out here since the season started. I only fish during the weekends. And uh, every single weekend, it's been raining. It's been storming. It's been gloomy, windy, just nasty. And today's the first day that I've got a chance to get out here. We're gonna make it happen. We're gonna chase these late spring stripers. Hopefully, we'll catch some post spawn on the way down from the Sacramento, and we'll see where they're at. Water clarity's looking pretty darn good today. Water temperature is around 65 degrees. You can't ask for a better day today. I really thought it was gonna rain. When I woke up, it was really, really cloudy. Um, but I'm glad I didn't have to turn the, the car around. Um, we're gonna give it a try. We're chasing them out here. We're gonna be using deep diving lures. We have an outgoing tide uh, until about, I don't know, four o'clock. It's a really, really long tide. Um, eight o'clock this morning, all the way into about four, we have an outgoing tide. So it seems to me like it's a slow tide. Uh, it's gonna be pretty good patrolling. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be doing exactly that, um, trolling all day. If it gets windy and I have no choice, I'm gonna try to find uh, some cover and we'll do some casting, but I'm hoping to be able to troll all day today. So follow me. We'll chase them. Stay with me. We'll find them. All right, guys. I'm going to try my luck out here on the San Joaquin. We're going to troll along the Thule lines, and we'll see what we can find. If I'm not marking fish, I'm moving. That's just the way it is. We'll see what happens here. Water is really, really clear, though. Really clear. I like it. It's about three to four feet of visibility here. If the stripers are here, then they should find the lures pretty easy. I'm choosing to use chartreuse still because it is, you know, a little bit more aggressive. They can see it, but I uh, probably don't even need it. Chartreuse with the white worm deep diving. I'm at about 19 feet right now, but my lure should be four feet above, six feet above, something like that. It's a 13 to 14 foot diving lure. I'm halfway through the troll right now and I've got no marks, guys. I don't know. I don't think they're here in this particular section. We're gonna try again just up further in the San Joaquin. We'll try again on a couple of uh, places that I know. If I'm not marking fish there, then I'm gonna move my way over to Frank's track. And then uh, we're gonna keep chasing them. As you guys can see, I don't waste time at all. I spend enough time in a spot to know whether it's worth it or not. And right there, fish aren't there. You can be the best fisherman in the world, and if the fish aren't biting, you ain't catching. And if they're not there, they're not biting. Whoa. Let's go find them, guys. We're out of here. All right, guys, I got another spot here just south of Twitcho Island. It's still on the San Joaquin. We're gonna give this a shot. You can always find this with the mark of the big tree right there, and I'll tell you exactly where to find this location. We're gonna troll along via the Thule line here, marking fish or not marking fish. We'll see what we can find. If we're not getting anything, we're out of here. But again, we always give it a try. We make a stop, we give it a shot, mark the fish. If we mark enough, then we go after him. I'm gonna put 
put my lure back about 150 feet or so. We want the lure back 150 feet because my boat's just a little bit bigger than most and makes quite a bit of noise. So having it back that far, kind of let the, the fish disperse and then reconvene right at the lure spot where my uh, lure is going to pass right by their faces. I'm going right around three and a half miles an hour with the tide, so that puts my lure about two miles an hour. For those of you that haven't figured out what that means, when you're going with the tide, your lure is also going with the tide, so you actually have to go faster than the tide in order for that lure to work. When you're working against the tide, it's a totally different story, you gotta slow down. Slow your boat down. You can go three and a half to four miles an hour against the tide and your lure will be working hard. Sometimes it might even be faster than what you expect. But uh, if you can look, the lure is doing a good wiggle and that's what you're wanting. That wiggle right there. That's the wiggle dance right there. That's the dance that's gonna catch fish. And if you're a good fisherman, I mean, you're always paying attention. Not only to the wiggle, but when it stops wiggling, because that means that you caught something. And it certainly is not fish. It's debris. And it's also a headache. Sometimes you get lucky on the delta spots where there's no brush, no debris, no grass. You control for like two or three minutes of straight fishing or straight trolling. But then there's those days, and I gotta tell you, you got plenty of them. There's plenty of those days where you drop the lure down for 20 seconds, boom, you're reeling it in. 10 seconds, boom, you're reeling it in. And those are the days I give up. I'd have to rethink my strategy or go find a new spot. Beautiful day out here. Very beautiful. Unfortunately, I'm not marking any fish, guys. It's making me sad that I have to try so hard. But whatever, you're on this adventure with me. We'll get them, we'll get them. Actually might have been a short strike. Sometimes you get a short strike. Fish get a little curious. They chase it, they punch it, and all they get is the worm tail. And that's what you get is a little shake like that. <coughs> but you can't stop. And if you want to entice them, what you can do is you can change the boat and just slow it down. Do an S wave like that. Snag. Yeah, that's a snag, guys. But you know, that's too bad. That's a, that's a pretty big weedy snag. Resort, we'll stop off and find some gas. Before we trek on. Otherwise, we're not we'll not be able to make it. Do they have gas up here? Do they have gas? Okay, thank you.
couldn't exactly say it's a new marina, but to me it's new because I've never been here. But uh, I know now that if I do need gas, middle of the delta, I can always come here and not have to worry about running out. So, I don't know. I'm going to work my way down towards Antioch and um, see if I can locate some more. I didn't mark anything at all. So again, not doing too bad. Well, I'm not doing too good, but uh, it's still, still early. I mean, I put in about a good 45 minutes and didn't catch anything, so I'll catch up. Ourselves, you pump. I mean, how does this work? Well, how much you need? Uh, full tank. So I'm okay. Yeah, I can help that. you pump it. It's all good. Okay. First time I've used this marina. Go ahead. The other thing is that we don't sell 91. You don't. Nope. You have 80, like 89. We sell 87. 87. Okay. Doesn't run very well. Well, we have the. Uh, Ethanol boost, I think, like the octane boost, but. How much is that? Yeah, I didn't know that. Because uh, we did have it, but this pump's broken, it cost five grand to fix it. Because we used to have it, because this is 91. Alright, why? Well, uh, the octane boost. Yeah, let's wait for that. Okay, thank you. What is it, a gallon here? Give me some time till I get back up that way to get some better off there. To what it feels like. This is the first time I've been out here in a while. You could probably bank on it. I, I spent maybe 20 minutes up in the San Joaquin and marked zero all along there for about 30 I've minutes. I those old people, they know. So I'm going down this way to see uh -huh. if I can mark it. If I'm not marking anything, I'm, I'm shooting back up and I'm going to bass fish. Yeah, <laughs> at least they don't leave, huh? Well, I, 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 one time I thought my finder was broken. I was like, where the hell are these fish? You're not picking up anything? You, you got to try. No, I didn't pick zero. I didn't pick anything up.
Good luck. Okay, well, that was a lesson learned. For any of you that have boats that require 92 or 91, you probably don't want to come to Edo's Marina because their 92 pump is broken, forcing me to pump 87, looking for octane boost, and I didn't get that. So um, I need a gas. I pumped 87. I'm going to try to find my way to the marina just up towards Sandy Beach, and I'm going to pump 89 up there. And, Still not good for the engine, but as long as it runs, and I'm not stuck here on the Delta, that really is all that matters right now. I'm not too thrilled, but at least I have gas and I can get around. So if you're coming to Edos, don't pump gas here unless you can do 87. Your engine will take it. Just a note. All right, guys. fish fish coming up. I'm marking a bunch of fish guys. It's great. I'm marking a bunch of fish. Little smallies, little small school sitting around here. I've got another school of fish coming up here. Top top level. This is what I'm talking about, guys, when I say I see marks. If you take a look at this, that's either submerged vegetation that's floating around and there's fish floating around with it, or it very well could be a small school of bait. And then you got all these fish, just like that, that are, that are hanging with it. And uh, something tells me that was submerged vegetation with fish around that area. All right, guys, we're switching it up. We're going bass fishing since stripers are nowhere to be found. off the boat. There 
we go. There's the skunk off the boat. Thank you. Nibbling at the whole time. Maybe you there. Number two. Still catching fish. That's really what matters. Alright, man, I'm gonna let you go. Relax. I'm down. Seriously, right now? I would have let you go. Yeah, guys. Chasing stripers. Ended up bass fishing. Smallies, though. Whew.